they got other choices. Uh, I think the added value of it's a little less costly to the tune of 200 bucks a pallet, um, and it be not susceptible to vapor, high vapor or liquid water is an added attraction for it. And the, the other thing, now Francisco, I think he made the comment that it would, it was thicker. A little thicker, but I, I, I don't I didn't think he's right. I don't, I don't really think he knew what he was actually saying. Um, he probably, I appreciate, appreciate his help. He the the smallest him. guy in the room was the one that helped me yesterday. He probably weighed 105 pounds. Yeah, maybe. it was not... Uh, was he not got a, a hat. Not a big man. man. <laughs> <laughs> he was happy to get a hat. So, um, yeah, I think down the road, um, people will migrate to this. Um, why carry both? I mean, it reads almost exactly like feather finish, except it's not self-drying, so we've taken out some of the expensive foo-foo dust, but still have it as rapid dry time. Most people don't take advantage of the self-drying anyway. Uh, they don't understand it, don't care, want to go smoke a cigarette, drink a Coke, and say, tell the boss that I, I can't put a pull on until it dries. And quite frankly, it may be true to some degree because they probably overwatered it. It takes longer for it to dry. Okay, let's go back down to just the foundation of the leveler versus the moisture barrier. Uh, historically, you've always put the moisture barrier down first. You put the leveler on top. Moisture barrier protects the, the leveler and the floor. Um, if it, let's say it was feather finish or K15, whatever it is. Now today, MRF is the only one that we're, we're, we would recommend to go underneath uh, VR98 and or MC Rapid because of, hence the reason why we won't, won't break down. Um, smooth out the, the, the bumps and the, and the little pot marks and things of that nature, save, save some money on uh, MC Rapid, uh, but no other leveler has ever been recommended to go underneath a moisture barrier historically, correct? Only our K60. Well, to K60 or our exterior level, which is K301, if you had to do it. Okay, and you mentioned K60 yesterday as well to, the, to answer that question. What, why again is, would, would K60 be preferable? Well, it's high flow. It'll go down as little as an eighth if that's what you need to smooth out a floor and it's not susceptible to the vapor. Okay. Okay. Same with K301, except it's going to be more expensive. It's an outdoor product, and it will have to flow it a, a quarter. And so they do the same thing that, that K60 will do. But um, well, I was going to say, okay, but now, K60 doesn't need a primer either, yeah. Let's just say, okay, you pre-smooth the, the floor with K60 or uh, MRF, and you put your MC Rapid over it. There's only a couple of instances that you can go directly over that epoxy, and it's usually a loose lay of some sort. Sure, sure. There's nothing sticks to epoxy. Plus, the idea for Ardex on top of those is to protect it, make it flat, because the vapor barrier is not meant to make it the floor flat, it's supposed to slow the vapor drop. Then the feather finish, K15, whatever, over the top of it makes your floor flat to receive the floor. Okay, well then that, that adds the uh, next question, you brought a good point. So if I go MRF and then MC Rapid, I have to put, I'll put another level on top. Well, the reason you'd have to put something on it too is not only the fact that, uh, okay, well it's as flat as a pancake anyway, why am I gonna do this? Well, in order to have a porous substrate, you gotta have at least an eighth inch of cement product over the top of it. Okay. For so you have that. Drug Institute <clears throat> or vinyl or whatever those people are. Yeah, so typically you're gonna go over MC with, you've got to, I mean, you, 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 you got to go over, you you should put something over it, so put some sort of a level over You're not going to, most places have to be shot blasted anyway, okay? And most of them are flat. They've already had a floor <coughs> on it. It's a, a, a renovation, so yeah. it's fairly flat. So they're going to shot blast it. You put your MC down in the Ardex over the top of it. You, there may be holes or pock marks you might need to fill with the MRF after you shot blast it and pre-do your MC. I mean, every job's different. We have to evaluate everything differently. But That's why we're trying to get these people to, to get outside the box of K-15. We're losing business. Yeah, I, 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 to me, just from what you're saying, I mean, I, I don't know why 
MRF wouldn't just take over anyway. And that, it, it, to me, it makes I it's could uni it could be universally used. It could be universally pallets. used for any application that you want to use it. I've already could have sold a couple of pallets of this stuff, mm -hmm. and Ardex girls shut them down. They said, "Where are you getting this information? Where are you? We got it from Carrie. How's Carrie got it? Carrie's got it. <laughs> okay, I got the price. I got the the data that nobody else, at least." Order entry people haven't got yet. Sure. I, I've got the the uh, item number that you order from. Uh, so <coughs> we'll, we'll, we'll carry it. Bring it around. That was, that was. So we're talking about Rapid having to put another level on there because you can't adhere to it to epoxy, but VR98 you can. Um, VR98 is a whole different animal. I think that's a great uh, selling tool. You can go with MRF to, to just smooth out some of the, uh, the rough patches. Go VR98 as long as. The RH is, is 98 or less, and then you, you put your floor right on top of the R98. Without MC. Uh, the R98. No, yeah, without any level. So you go MRF, VR98, and then glue, glue the floor. Nine. Nine. VR98, which was VR95. Your bucket out there is VR95, but it's now it's VR98. Yeah. <laughs> a Sharpie will take care of it. One digit. <laughs> it's blue. It's a two coat system. North and south, east and west. Two hours after the second coat goes in, you can install, you can skim it, whatever. You don't need a primer. It's an acrylic. So you can it go right on it. It works. Go right on it if you want. Yeah, it works like our P51, which is an acrylic, okay? So I'm just showing it here. It's got to go over cement. That's to simulate cement, not wood. And I put the MRF directly over this, and I put the SKM over it just to show you that you don't need primer. I could have leveled over this. Yeah, you, you, you could have gone directly on it if you so choose to do so. Right. On, on this, this, is, this is a vapor retarder rated to 98%. Okay. okay. Um, 